Hey, 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 I'm Rod Bergeron. Welcome back to my studio. Today we're gonna to have a look at perspective and we're gonna have a look at some real basic fundamentals that I use every day and I hope you can too. So let's get at it. All right, so one of the basic fundamentals of perspective is just learning how to draw a proper cube. And I use this all the time. You'll see that all of my work here is all relying upon me understanding how the cube is made You'll see I do it here quite often. I work in the cube very, very often. A lot of my work is dependent upon it. So you'll see there's lots of examples if you flip through a sketchbook of mine where I'm working on the cube. It's not very difficult. You just need to know a few basic fundamental things. I gotta put my candy away here. I'm gonna shove my sketchbook over there. The cube is not a difficult thing. It really isn't. You really just need to know some real, real basic things. All right, here's how we draw a cube. I'm gonna use this big Sharpie marker. You use whatever it is that you wanna do. I would suggest that you do it in a sketchbook like I had out there, but as an example, you can do this any way you want. Draw a square. And then draw another square that overlaps that first square a little bit. And then you just join like corners, all right? So remember that, join like corners, top left and top left. Top right and top right. Bottom left and bottom left. Bottom right and bottom right, okay? So once again, you draw a square, you overlap it a little bit. And then join like corners, top left and the top left, top right and top right, bottom left, bottom left, bottom right, bottom right. All right, now I want you to go and get a piece of paper and I want you to do this dozens and dozens of times. I want you to do it until you've covered your entire piece of paper, okay? So pause the video and go give that a try. Now I know some of you didn't pause the video and I know some of you are still waiting for the next part of this, so I'll go ahead and do it anyways. All right, so the next part of this is going to be you draw a square and then you draw a square that's a little bit away from it, maybe five or 10 centimeters away. And then you join like corners again. Top left to top left, top right to top right. I look where I am, I look where I wanna go, I look where I am, I look where I wanna go, and then I draw the line, okay? Same here, and then the same here. And then put them on a slightly different angle. All right, so put them on an angle, you know, maybe like this. And I just want you to do that a whole bunch of times. All right, keep doing it until you've covered the entire page. Okay, pause the video and go and give that a shot. Okay, I know some of you didn't pause the video. That's all right. Who am I to say don't pause the video? I want you to think about how it is that you draw your straightest line, all right? Because some of you are probably having problems with that. I know that for me, a straight line going left to right or right to left is not as straight as when I draw a line from the top down, from the top down, from the top down. I know that's probably my straightest line. Going left to right here, it's not very difficult. All right, let's try this. If I draw a square here, and I draw a square here, and I wanna join these corners, for me, it's gonna be easiest if I turn it slightly. I look where I am, I look where I wanna go, I look where I am, I look where I wanna go, and then I draw the line. So you can't see it on the video, but I've turned my body slightly so I'm more up and down, all right? 
I want you to just keep doing that. I want you to cover an entire page. All right. This is the first part of learning how to do perspective correctly. The more you do this, the better you're going to get at it. Okay. You need to do this and then do it and then do it some more. Do it until you've run out of ways to do it. All right. So, so far I've been doing one lower and one higher. The higher one's on the right. Switch it. All right. Switch it around. Put the higher one on the left. Um, put one that's here and then connect it to one that already exists. Just keep going over it and doing it and doing it and doing it until you've perfected how to do the cube. So those examples here, we did the two squares and then we drew the lines that would be inside or on the opposite side of the box that you normally wouldn't see. So I want you to try something different. I want you to draw a square. All right. And then I want you to draw seven. And then I want you to connect like corners. Top left, or sorry, yeah, top left and top left, top right and top right, bottom right and bottom right. And that's how you do it without having those lines overlap so that you could see through the square or through the cube, okay? So again, it's draw a square, draw a seven, and then connect like corners. Top left, top left, top right, top right, Bottom right, bottom right. Okay? Go and give that a shot 10, 15, 20 times and then come back. So pause the video. All right, so I hope you pause the video and I hope you're back now after doing that a whole bunch of different times. Here's another example of it, all right? Or another, a different way to do it, I should say, not another example. It is another example, but so this is seven on the top, all right? This is L on the bottom, okay? So L lower, top right, top right, bottom right, bottom right, bottom left, bottom left. So this would be looking up on the bottom of the box, all right? So here it is again, Bot a square, and then an L on the bottom, it's actually a backwards L, but you could also do it like this. Do a regular L. All right, pause the video and go and do that a whole bunch of times. So remember, it's seven up, L lower. Seven, seven up, L lower. All right, I want you to experiment with that a whole bunch of different ways. I want you to experiment with drawing boxes, connecting cubes, doing it a whole bunch of different times, all right? This is the first part of doing perspective right. I guarantee you, if you get this correct, the next parts are gonna be easy, but you need to do this repetitiously. I've been an artist for, well, let's just say a long, long, long time, and I still practice this skill all the time. I have my students do this all the time. It's a big, big part of getting perspective right, okay? So once again, it's box, seven up, L down, join like corners or L lower, join like corners, okay? Go give that a shot a whole bunch of times and then uh, we'll uh, have a look at the next video. If you learned anything from this, please give me a thumbs up. If you're currently a subscriber, I thank you very much. And if you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot for joining me today, and we'll see you again next time.